Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, UC704, man. Bringing y'all another video, and I got my son in my lap, and he's bringing you another video, too. So you might hear him talk, but it's all good, man. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to talk about four-out went in, space the floor, pick and roll, and the options you have in the space the floor. I mean, this this offense is really, really deadly. What you do is you go over here, you hit four-out went in, and you go space the floor. And how you do that is you hit your D-pad to the left. With your D-pad to the left, you hit RB. On PS4, that would be R1, and you just you change it like so. Now, to run this effectively, you need a big man that can actually rebound really good. I mean, it's it's cool to run a four out one in with a stretch four. That's actually a power forward, but it's kind of better to run it with a small forward that's actually, you know, a tweeter in between power forward, small forward, you know, and actually can hit the three really good. Not a power forward that's have like a 73 pointer because it kind of could hurt you. But um, this is a really good team. I like running the four out one in because Gortat really rebounds the basketball. He's 6'11. He can hold his own in the paint. You know, he got an 86 box out, 86 rebound, and an 80 offensive rebound. Paul Pierce is really going to be on the wing. Now, like I said, on defense, it could hurt you. But on offense, I mean, you have so many options. And that's the lineup we're going to run. Just make sure you have a good center and a stretch forward that can actually shoot the three consistent, not really a power forward that can hit the three, you know, every now and then. You know, so when you, you know, you see you see how open the court is. And look how you get right up under the basket in this 4 one in. I mean, it's just, the court is so spaced. And if you really have a dominant center, maybe like Dwight Howard or, you know, somebody like that, you can really dominate with him in the paint by itself. And you see this pick and roll like I done, hold the left trigger. As soon as I get ready to pass, I hold the right trigger at the same time. There'll be L2, R2, boom, roll. The roll man seems like he get one of the two. It's either the, the ball handler or the roll man is going to be wide open. And you just make a decision. Bam. Wide up and up in the paint, Paul Pierce can light it up at the power forward. I really like him better at the four. Now, you know, you could choose what kind of personnel you want, but I always like my three to be very athletic. So I got um, Otto Porter. He's not really, you know, LeBron James type athletic, but he will dunk and he can finish and you can, he can catch oops. You want that. You don't want Paul Pierce really at the three when you're doing the four out one in because – on the, when you run in transition, he's not going to really help you cut into the basket or going to the basket. He's not going to finish strong in the paint. So, boom. As you can see, the guy wide open Pierce gets. And then you have, like, just open shots, man. That, that's just pretty much how it works. And right here, I ran the four. I went in. I actually should have hesitated because Otto Porter – I mean, I not nah, hesitated, but I should have icon passed to Paul Pierce. And what I messed up at is I, you know, I direction pass, and I may stick it through the Bradley Beal first. But you want to icon pass to that wide open guy. Every time you roll, you pick and roll, somebody's going to be wide open for a three. This absolutely destroys zone defense. So I'm going to come down again, and I'm going to show you. This time I'm going to icon pass. I really want Gortat to come give me that pick. Once he can give me the pick, when you roll off, Look at Otto Porter, wide open in the corner. All you got to do, make the jump shot. Somebody is going to be open every time unless, you know, they're locking up the denying ball. They're going to defensive set and hard hedge and do those type of things. Now, you can get fancy with it. You always don't have to pass to the point guard. You got a point guard like John Wall that's so dynamic and score in so many ways. His mid-range is pretty much automatic in 2K on ranked games. And, um... He can finish really strong in the paint. So, yo, keep that in mind. Attack the basket with Wall. And like I said, Gortat is going to handle his own in the paint. You really want a really good center when you run the four out one in to protect the paint. So we're going to come down again. Now you can do the pick and fade. You don't even, you don't even have to drive all the way because your power forward can fade back. That's still open up more space. Now you can ISO at the top. Take your big, I mean, take him off the dribble. And you can hit it with that little nice spin jumper, man. Easy as that. I actually missed it, but I really love the spin jumper with Paul Pierce. Houston is my team. This is who I play with online. So you ISO, look at the space with Paul Pierce, and this will be a mismatch. You could take him all the way to the basket, get creative, spin jumper. Either way, you collapse the defense. And now look at Otto Porter, wide open in the corner. The four out one is, is really dynamic. You pretty much, you can run plays, but, I mean, unless you're in Hall of Fame Sim games online, you can really destroy people in the four out one end set. Just by picking and rolling and picking and fading and, you know, playing around, dancing around those pick with, picks with Wall. You know, when you got to come, you know, or ice on, boom. And you go out over to the basket, you see Wall, easy. I mean, I don't know why. It missed so many dunks in this game. I don't know why he missed that. But, boom, look at his roll. Now, when you look at this. Look at how the defense collapsed and look at Paul Pierce wide open in the corner. That's an easy pass out. I don't know why Otto Porter was running through right there. I put space to the floor so guys actually won't cut. 
Because if you pick motion and cut space to floor, they will stay where you want them to stay. You don't have to worry about guys randomly cutting. So, bam, I'm telling you, this offense is deadly. Four out, one in. Pick and roll, pick and fade. You guys go in the game, get it going. I'm telling you, you would destroy people running this. So many just open threes. And it, I mean, like I said, when you play with a team, just learn how to shoot with everybody, man. You want to know how to shoot with everybody. You want a dominant rebound and center, at least seven feet, 6'11". It's kind of hard doing it with centers that's really small. So he come for the pick again. Boom, roll to the basket. I wanted to hit the roll, man, because you can always hit the roll, man. It causes a lot of mismatches. So we're going to let him come again. So when he come up, boom, wait for him to roll. Easy. That time I went around the pick just holding the left trigger. You go back and watch my video. This time I didn't hit turbo. I hesitate just to give it enough time for him to roll. Once I see an opening or uh, some kind of split second, I just, I just let it fly. Boom. Right here you see his man pick me up. Easy money. Four out, one in. Destroy the CPU defense. If you want somebody want to play CPU defense against you, go in this four out one in. Bless you. Go in this four out one in, and you could dominate, man. Dominate in ranked games or whatever it is. You just want a game plan. This is a nice little game plan. That's my time, people. It's your boy UC704, man. One more time, and I'm up out of here, man. Let's do the pick and fade this time. You see how you see how look, look how open everybody gets, man. I mean, just everybody's open. It's so dynamic because you can roll with Pierce. Boom. See him cut to the basket. Look at the defense collapse. Boom. Wide open auto porter, which has one of the easiest releases in the game. I'm telling you, man, it's really nasty. And also, you can also do icon pick and rolls with anybody on the team. Say if you want Bradley Bell to pick and fade right here. Boom. You, you see that right there? And then he just fade back. You get a wide open jump shot. I mean, I'm telling you, it's three-point galore. And then when you have a big man that can rebound, it's kind of hard for me to shoot. My son's sitting right here. He's bumping the controller as I'm playing. So, like I said, you want to do the icon pick and roll, tap B. Everyone icon to pop up. Boom. You just do a pick and fade. I mean, it's so many options, so many open threes. I'm, I'm guaranteed, if you can shoot with your team, you will average at least eight threes. You will hit at least eight threes a game. That's just doing this. I'm not even talking about in transition. So, boom. I mean, I'm telling you, it's nasty. And you start hitting your threes. That's my time. You see 704, and I'm up out of here, man. Peace. Say peace. Say peace, everybody.